Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be taking a closer look at how to stop the Spectre robot. Uh, there's been a lot of posts on Facebook and you know videos uh, showcasing just how deadly this robot is, but I'm gonna be uh, kind of flipping the coin here and uh, showing you guys you know, what the weaknesses are so that you guys can exploit it uh, in the event that you actually run into a lot of these uh, robots out there. Uh, so the first thing uh, that you know I had to do in order to understand this robot uh, was to actually run it. So knowing the robot is you know the first step. Uh, the Spectre robot doesn't have a lot of HP, only 132,000 uh, HP at uh, Mach 2 level 12. Uh, if you're talking about the regular level 12, it only has 110,000 HP. Uh, when you jump, you go into stealth, and you're in stealth for five seconds after you land but then it takes 18 seconds before you can actually use the ability again, as you can see uh, in this clip. Um, a lot of the times too, uh, players that do run this robot, uh, including myself when I was running it, you know, I tended to gravitate towards covered areas a lot because it's such a fragile bot, you have to make sure that you use cover. So now that we understand the basics of the Spectre robot, here are a couple of examples of um, you know, players that have managed to exploit the weaknesses of this robot. You can see here, I tried to actually take out this Hechi, but he had two dash available, uh, which he used to evade and, you know, to keep his distance to survive. Um, but I did eventually get him, but you'll see what happens here. Uh, there's a player that waits for me to get out of stealth, and he made sure to capitalize on that by uh, smoking me with his Orkins. Um, the same thing in this third clip here. You know, once I had taken out this Rhino, you'll see in the background there is a Balkazari with Orkins. Uh, being that it takes uh, 18 seconds in order for me to actually use my, um, you know, jump and stealth again, this Balkazari made sure to get to me before then so that he could take advantage of my weakness. And uh, now that we've actually covered, you know, a couple of examples here, I'm going to show you what weapons I found were the deadliest um, to me when I was running the Spectre. So one weapon which I found to be actually very effective uh, against the Spectre was actually the Hydra. Uh, remember the Spectre doesn't have a lot of HP and it tends to gravitate towards covered areas. The problem with the Hydra is um, it actually curves around walls, around buildings and structures and it will hit the Spectre even if it is trying to hide. Uh, so that's one weapon that you guys could use. Another very effective weapon is the Turan weapon. You can see here how much damage that Ancelot is doing to me. And he only has two Tehrans. Um, I don't even know if they were uh, Mach 2, uh, but I've already lost half my health uh, because I was out in the open getting hit by Tehrans. So uh, equip it on your, you know, your Griffin, your Rhino, your Fujing, uh, Hechis, Balkazaris, and it will do a pretty good job against the Spectre when they're out in the open and they don't have stealth. Another weapon which works really well against the Spectre is actually the Shock Train weapon. Um, a lot of players also don't know that um, you know when the Spectre is in stealth mode, it can still get hit by shock trains. Uh, so you can always fire at um, you know their teammates uh, who are standing beside them in order to hit the Spectre, and eventually you'll get to the point where you wither them down, and they won't have that much health, and they are more manageable. The last weapon which I want to mention here is the Orkin. Uh, there were actually quite a few games which I played, and I would die to Orkin builds, whether it be something like uh, the Balkazari Orkins right at the beginning of this video, uh, or something like a Death Button Griffin, um, a Rogatka Orkin, um, you know, a Death Button Rhino, uh, you know, whatever it was, um, you know, if they had Orkins and I was within Orkin range, quite often I would go down very quickly. Um, if I didn't have my stealth and my jump uh, to save me, uh, because I can't outrun Orkins and made it very hard to survive. The last tip that I can offer is really working as a team or teamwork in general. This goes for any robot, you know, whether it be the Spectre or even the Dashbots. Uh, if you're having difficulty dealing with them, then team up. Teaming up increases your chances of survival, but also increases the chances of you taking that robot down. Um, anyways guys, I hope these tips were able to help. Uh, if you have any other tips that you'd like to share, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.